Hello all, welcome to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Vasant. I hope you are all doing well. And you know what is today's topic? It's hosting. Hosting is considered to be one of the most fundamental topic of JavaScript, and it's been very common in most of the interviews. In fact, in recent past, I haven't attended an interview where they did not ask me what is hosting in JavaScript. There is a reason why hosting has become so important. Because if you have to answer all questions of hosting, you should have a thorough understanding of how to create variables in JavaScript. What is global scope? What is local scope? How to create a function? How to create a class? So just by asking one question, interviewer can touch base upon multiple skill sets of yours on fundamentals of JavaScript. But even after knowing the importance of hosting, many candidates either they will not prepare for this topic, or they think they know the answer, but they will not be. They will face difficulty when some in-depth questions are asked, or let's say some variations of the simple topic is asked, so they will fail to answer it. So in my upcoming videos on hosting, I'll be covering each and every topic. Just by watching my entire series, I'll guarantee you hundred percent. No matter what question they ask you related to hosting an interview, you'll be able to answer it. Stay tuned. Let's start the video. Geek, myself Vasant. So in this video series, we'll be mainly discussing front-end developer interview questions. In case if you have not seen my introduction video and video and directly landed into this, this is not for an absolute beginner. In this this series is for the those candidates who are preparing for the interview. On any JavaScript or front-end driven technologies. Okay, without wasting further time, let's get started with our first topic, hosting. Hosting, uh, in in the normal English term, as you know, refers to something putting on top. The most common phrase that is used is hosting of the flag, where the flag moves onto the top of the pole. Okay, so with respect to JavaScript, uh, I'll explain what is hosting. Before that, let's see a small example. I'll explain the concept with an example. Okay. Hello world. Test. Okay. Uh, I'm copying this. I'm pasting here. And let me run this. Okay. So we're getting hello world twice. So let me comment this for the sake of understanding. Um. Yeah. We st we are getting one time the hello world. Now I'm commenting this. So we are getting one time the hello world. Okay. The reason I I I I showed uh I wrote the function. I called the function from above and below, and I commented and I shown you the output is because no matter whether you are trying to invoke the function from line number two or line number six, the JavaScript engine or the compiler is aware of where is the function. This sounds possible because from if you are from any other programming language as like C, you might be thinking yeah, uh, uh, the compilation is sequential, line by line, so it will know that there is a line, line number three function number test is there, and from line number six we can invoke it. But this seems quite unnatural. From line number two, you are trying to invoke line number three. If it's a sequential execution in line number two, it will fail because it is not aware line number three. There is a function called text, a function called test. Okay, this is happening in JavaScript mainly because of the concept of hoisting, where the function declarations are moved to the top of the current file or to the current block. I can tell during the first phase of the execution. JavaScript execution is actually two step. Uh, if possible, I'll make a video in this series itself how the execution actually happens. So, but into to with respect to this video, I'll keep it brief. So, JavaScript of uh, execution of a program happens in two steps. One step, it will uh, go through the entire uh, file and identify some functions, variable which all need be actually called in the second step. So, what happens during first step is whenever it encounters line number three, the definition or the function uh, definition will be moved to the top. Uh, of the particular block, let's say here uh, something like function test, so which will make it accessible during the second run. So no matter whether you call from line number three or line number six, the JavaScript engine is aware of a function called test which already exists. Okay, so we'll be able to invoke it. So this is something that all of us use every day, uh, where we try to invoke a function from above and below. But most of us doesn't know how this really works. So this is a fundamental concept of the JavaScript that is hosting. Okay, let's let me see. Uh, let me just walk you through the actual definition. Uh, this is copied directly from developer.mozilla.com. So JavaScript hosting refers to the process whereby the interpreter appears to move the declaration of a functions, variable or classes to the top of their scope prior to the execution of the code. So prior to the execution of the code here means, like I said, the two step. The first step it scans. The second step the, where the actual execution happens. Okay. Now let us get into variable hosting. Okay, variables, as you are aware, in JavaScript we can create variable in in three uh, with three different keywords. Let's start with a var. Okay, 
I'm creating a variable x and here I'm trying to declare a, a value of x is okay um, and I'm logging the x here if you are new to, new to JavaScript you will be expecting value of x to be some reference error the reason being uh, we are trying to access va value of x even before it is getting uh, initialized so here it is actually it is getting declared or initialized it, there is, uh, so far there is no definition we haven't initialized any value to x okay so line number four we have variable declared x and we are trying to execute here this uh, uh, block okay we will get a strange error let me explain that to you so nothing came actually even the error did not came even the output did not came uh, intentionally I am showing you this because we haven't invoked the function the reason I am showing this is many people during the interview get um, confused or in tension they will write all the code and they will not invoke the function itself and if it's a complex code even interviewer will not be able to help you uh, I mean calling a function from another function in that case you will miss out the your, your actual logic whatever you're trying to implement okay so don't miss this so whenever you write a function first call it then only you start further execution okay so now the output you would get is a value of x is undefined the value of x became undefined because of the concept of hosting where actually uh, during the first run this happened the value of variable the variable x which was in line number five moved to the top of the block in this case line number three and initialized with a value of undefined okay so you are getting the value of x is undefined here so let us try to just uh, just check another variation of it okay even if you do value of where is equal to x equal to 60 it still be hold good I mean the undefined value itself is there the reason being that a variable definition happens still on line number four but just the declaration part of it will be moved to the top and by default the def uh, value will be initialized with as undefined okay this is about the uh, hosting with respect to keyword of uh, variable created with var keyword let me do the same with the variable created with that keyword okay so if you're not sure what is the where let and const keywords and uh, how to create a variable with that I would advise you, you go and watch uh, uh, you go and watch some videos on YouTube or read official documentation to understand that if I create any series regarding to that I'll definitely link the description in the video okay so in, in this case let X I'm defining it as a value of 60 so uh, if you are aware of this answer don't uh, watch the next video for a couple of seconds uh, comment your answer then uh, continue the video let me execute it so we are getting reference error cannot access x before the initialization okay so uh, with your previous mindset of using var you would have expected even this also to come undefined but it is not the reason being what happens during the first run is this happens but uh, value of variable uh, x uh, will not be initialized with any value okay the hosting happens uh, in fact even this also doesn't happen like let x will not come because if you do the let x you, you will still get undefined uh, because the the variable got declared and there's no default value initialized to it so in this case the default value get initialized but if you're trying to access it before this the hosting happens the variable declaration moves on to the top but uh, there will not, not be any default value initialized to it number one Second, it goes into a state called temporal dead zone. Okay, temporal dead zone is also one of the famous interview question where the time where or the zone where the variable got uh, declared or where the variable got hoisted and the variable uh, actually defined. I mean, when you assign a value into it, that zone is called temporal dead zone. Here, the word temporal is used the, uh, the, to indicate that it is not the order in which you write the code, it is the zone where you belong. Okay. I'll uh, I will explain that uh, in detail in the next video how temporal dead zone work and uh, when the temporal dead zone starts and the when the temporal dead zone ends okay so for the this example uh, I, I want you to be clear that variable declared with the keyword let is also hoisted but you will not be able to access the value of it even uh, before it is getting uh, defined so so we are getting the error as uh, accessor unable to access the variable Let's do the same with a const also another way of uh, creating the variable const x. So here uh, as a front-end interviewer preparing uh, the candidate who is preparing for the front-end interview you must be able to uh, answer that this statement itself wrong because you cannot create a constant variable without the value uh, initializing to it. So const x itself are wrong there should be some value to it. So if I run this code you will get an error missing initializer const declaration okay so you cannot declare a variable without initializing it or without defining it okay let's do 10 so const x equal to 10 so now 
whatever error you got here this is nothing to do with hosting this is a typical javascript error now what you get let's see reference error cannot access x before the initialization so same thing that happened with let is happening with the const also so const variables are also getting hoisted but the default value of it is not initialized and it also goes into state of temporal dead zone where you will not be able to access the value of it uh, until it is getting defined so the zone in which it get hoisted and the value is not uh, you will not be able to access the value of it is called the temporal dead zone okay the takeaway from this video i'll summarize uh, the functions in javascript get hoisted variable declared with var keyword get hoisted let variable declared with let and const keyword also get hoisted classes also get hoisted i'm not showing the classes here because most interviews you will interviews will not ask you the class concept but even if they ask the class content concept it is fundamentally the same because there is no class as such in javascript the it will under the hood they all are functions so the same way how you are able to invoke a function and above and below of it we will be able to create a class objects above and below of it okay this is about the hosting okay if you like my video uh, the way i am explaining please like it share it and subscribe to our channel uncommon geek okay i'll see you in the next video if you want me to make any videos any particular kind of videos please comment it and definitely i'll make those videos in the upcoming sessions thank you all